Hi Church and welcome to My Miracle Week. I'm Jenny and part of the Central Campus. As we start the year again, reflect and look forward to spring, I'm often brought back to one of my favourite parts of the Bible, which is Psalm 20. May the Lord answer you when you are in distress. May he remember all your sacrifices and accept your burnt offerings. May he give you the desires of your heart and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy over your victory and lift up banners in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your requests. Now this I know, the Lord gives victory to his anointed, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. And that's from Psalm 20. What a fantastic way to start the year with praise and affirmation that we know that God gives victory to his people. He has seen all our struggles, sacrifices and faithfulness throughout the year, but he loves to give us the desires of our heart. Recently, some friends met together and shared what we were giving thanks for in 2022. It was so good that as each person shared personal stories of thanksgiving, we are also each reminded of praying together for those very things throughout the year. Family members had been saved. We would got through tough times. We would seen healings within our group. A house had sold in two weeks. A long postponed operation had been successful. Job situations had improved. Financial provision was praised for and there had also been a wedding. We know that this is replicated across the church through small groups, the prayer walls, the prayer areas. We've had so many answers to prayer and see God working in people's lives in miraculous ways and we're ready for more in 2023. It's time to shout for joy because we have hard and fast evidence that now I know the Lord gives victory to his anointed. The Bible tells us that the prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective in James 5 verse 16. And Jesus said, Again, truly I tell you, if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather in my name, there I am with them. And you'll find that in Matthew 18, 19 to 20. Often when we come forward for prayer, it might be a stranger that prays with us. Then we leave and no one else really knows what happens, even if a miracle occurs straight away. And there is nothing wrong with that and let's give God praise for it. However, when you open and pray regularly and earnestly with others and walk the walk together, the prayer request and miracle doesn't just stop with you. When you ask someone to pray to, then it means that you agree and are in it together and often your, your miracle becomes their miracle too. And then Jesus also promises to join with us, which makes it really interesting and you get to share the joy of victory together. When we pray together then, before we know it, my miracle becomes our miracle. And as part of the body of, the, of Christ, really we know that it's God's miracle anyway. So this year, I'd encourage you to find your two or three to gather together with. Whether it's your small group, Sunday team, or a group of Christian friends. Friends are nosy. They remember praying and like to know what happened to the situation, which in turn reminds of us what we were believing for and all that God has done. Friends encourage you and believe for the next miracle you need when you are all out of faith and words. And you might also in turn be more of a blessing than you'd ever known you were capable of. So let's push together in praying until something happens and over time you will see God working and moving. Soon we'll be shouting for joy when you are victorious and lifting up our banners to the name of the glory of God, one miracle at a time. Have a great day 